1 Corinthians 2 verses 7 and 8. No, the wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God. His plan that was previously hidden, even though he made it for our ultimate glory before the world began. But the rulers of this world have not understood it. If they had, they would not have crucified our glorious Lord. If they had only known. If they had only understood. You see, so many have tried to hurt you or destroy you or disgrace you. But they did not realize that they were only activating your blessings. They tried to destroy you, but instead they activated the promises on your life. You see, God's plans for our glory were created long before the earth was formed, but they were hidden. Just as it was, that salvation plan was created before the worlds were formed. And even though it was hinted at when God dealt with Adam, Eve and the serpent in the garden after the fall of man, it was still hidden. Because of that, the leaders, the rulers of this world did not know it. And so when Jesus was born, when Jesus went into ministry, they thought, we need to get rid of him. We need to kill him. He is getting too famous. He is a threat. And because they did not understand, they killed him to shut him down. But they missed it. They did not realize that crucifying Jesus the Christ was activating the salvation plan. They were activating the route to our glorification, the release of eternal power. They did not realize that they were ensuring that his will and purpose was fully accomplished. If they only knew what killing him would have done, they would have fought to keep him alive. Well, guess what? If they only knew what hating you would do, what hurting you would do, what lying on you would do, what abusing you would do, if they only knew what their strategies to destroy you and distress you would activate in your life, they would have left you alone. But they missed it. And because of that, they've touched you. And by touching you to hurt you, they have blessed you. So, we hear Joseph saying to his brothers, who envied and hated him, sought to destroy him, sold him out in slavery. He says, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. To bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. Yes, they may have meant evil against you, but God meant it for good. All things work together for good. For them that love God. For them who are called according to his purpose. 
if they only knew. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.